Hey everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video and it's totally free to subscribe. Just hit that big red subscribe button. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the color tolerance under the advanced settings when you go to upload your images. It makes them come out so much cleaner with much clearer lines. I have two examples that I will show you guys up close of two different ones that I have cut out. One I used color tolerance and one I did not. The one on the left hand side is the one that we used color tolerance on and the one on the right side is the one that we didn't. You can see how much thinner the lines are and clearer and cleaner they are and it was easier to weed the one on the left hand side. The one on the right has much thicker lines you can see there were parts that we were not able to clean up as nicely as the other side, especially in those swirls. And there's much more definition to the design with the one on the left hand side. So let's go over to Design Space so that I can show you guys how to use color tolerance. Today I'm going to show you guys a really great way to clean up your designs when you're uploading them. And these can be ones that you got from Google. So go ahead and click Upload upload image. I'm going to browse and find the image that I'm looking for. And I'm going to use this one here. This is just a JPEG from Google. You're going to click complex, click continue, and you're going to go to advanced options, change color tolerance from 16 to 100. And then when you go to clean this up, it's going to have a crisper, sharper line. So just like any time you clean up an image, you'll need to get rid of all of the white spaces. And this one does have quite a few. So we're going to just go around it and get rid of all of our white. I think this is going to be a really cool design once we get it into design space. So let's go ahead and click and get rid of all of the white. And there's some small spots in the center, a little bit tighter. So what we'll do is zoom in once we get rid of the bigger spots. To zoom in, all you need to do is go up here to the upper corner and just click the little magnifying glass until it's as close as you want it to be. It just makes it easier to click these small spots. And if you ever do something like that where you accidentally click where you don't mean to, just click undo. Because sometimes these small spots can be a little tough and you can end up with a little bit of a, um, a tighter space to click. And you may accidentally click something you didn't mean to. So we're just going to finish this up. Should only take another moment. Get rid of all of those, all of this. Oops. See? Don't do that. <laughs> Sometimes you just get clicking and you click too quickly. So you just have to hit undo if you get rid of something you don't mean to. Totally doable. See? I'm terrible at this. Go ahead and click and click and click and we are good to go. Click continue and you'll see this is the one you want to save right here. This is the cut image or you can save it as the print and cut, but you'll want to save this one as the cut image. Click on save. We're going to go ahead and insert our image. And look at that. Look how nice and clean those lines are. They are so much better than if you were to leave that down at 16. That color tolerance really makes a huge difference when you're doing this kind of stuff because you're going to get much, much smoother and cleaner lines when cleaning up your designs. This is just a quick, super easy trick that you guys can use to help when you upload. You we can totally do another image. So let's browse and see what we have here. Um, there's probably nothing in this folder. So let's go to, I know I have like Disney coloring pages. I don't know if there's anything in that one, but we can try our Disney folder because I do have quite a few designs that are just like coloring pages. So let's go ahead and clean up Anna or Anna, depending. So Anna, let's just do her. I'm going to show you how she's going to clean up with the different settings. And we won't do like a full cleanup on her because I just want to show you the difference on what she like looks like when you do it one way versus the other. She's got pretty decent lines. She's pretty good. I'm just going to clean up a couple spots just so you guys can see. And you see all these little like uh, swirls and stuff in her dress. I'm going to go ahead and clean one of those up for you just so you can kind of see what it looks like. And you'll see it's not real great. And it's not cleaning up real well. Like at all. 
So you can just see it's just not cleaning up real well. Click continue and that's what we look like. And you can see where the um, swirls on her dress did not come out very well. So I'm gonna go back, click back again. She's complex. I'm gonna go to my advanced options, change that to 100. And we're gonna go back through here and get rid of a bunch of stuff. And again, we're just gonna do a few things just so you can see the difference. Let me zoom in so I can do her dress. Let's just do some of these. We'll do these. Do this. Do her button. But look at how much better, whoops, except when you do that, how much better this is cleaning up than when we did it the other way. You can just see that we can get closer in to these little spots. That spot's going to be tough. We're going to need to really zoom in on it to get it clean and this spot may never come out perfect because of the way it's designed but this is still going to come out much better than the other way and you could always just leave these little swirls filled in if you wanted to but when we click continue you can see how much cleaner it looks you can see where it was able to clean up all of these lines the lines on her hair are smoother and she's just smoother in general so it's a great trick and a great tool that you can use to clean up your designs if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I am always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video. Have a great day and happy crafting.